Right, now, welcome back. Yeah, I know. I know. Where is it? We, what are we doing? What are we doing, actually? So, welcome back, welcome back. I'm getting confused. Right, um, okay. Now, I did say, um, uh, as you can tell what we're doing on the title of the video, obviously, because you're all pretty up there. Uh, I am quite apple tires, by the way, so that let that just be a warning. Um, 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 right, we did say we were going to go and do an Indian makeaway, yeah. Um, now, oh shit, oh, I've actually got quite a bit of ash in that, sorry about that. Um, yeah, um, like I said, we, I like we said, we were going to do an Indian makeaway, um, but sadly, the list of it, right, the list of ingredients that we needed to have got, um, I've got quite a lot of ingredients for an Indian makeaway. But I mean, the lamb mint itself was like because I can do lamb mint because the keep I've done a lot of keep and and I always use beef mints, right? And I thought, no, fuck it, I'll use lamb mints on this one. And I'd I would have had to got lamb mints, the chicken fires. I don't got chicken fires here. But I'm, it would have cost at least fifty quid at least because I was going to get some really nice ingredients. I was going to go to like uh, Waitrose and get them so we can get some proper good shit. Um, and I went through the cost of it, and it would severely affect the special plan, okay? I don't really want, this has affected the special plan a little bit. It's cost about, I don't know, probably about 20 quid, where the Indian makeaway would have been a full, easy, minimum 50 quid up, right? So, I will do one. I know everyone's waiting, everyone's in anticipation. It takes at least two to three days to do properly. Um, and with my more expert game knowledge of even more Michelin starriness, we have got a news update on that. Don't worry about that, that is coming, right? But because we've gained even more amazingness into my awesome culinary journey into I mean, basically, Michelin. Um, we'll be able to extrapolate a lot better with it. All right. So, so I will do it. And I tell you when we're probably more likely to do it. Right, is when the special plan is completed. All right, which is basically in the March. Right. Now the first weekend of that of April, um, I'm that's for me. I won't be doing any cooking videos at all on that day, but I will do one, and it will be an Indian makeaway because we will have the resources to do it, so there won't be any excuses. Um, like I said, I could have done it today, but I'd be really skinting myself, and I re and I'd be really. Um, putting into jeopardy the special plan so I'm not going to do that so I am sorry but we're going to do something just as nice uh, not as long but obviously it will be pop up because well. right so here we go so what are we doing well we're going to be doing well, I'm doing two things at once okay Mitchell as per usual we're doing two things at once alright now the first things we're going to be doing is the main dish, okay? Now, it's a, um, a garlic garlic and butter fried chicken, uh, chicken thighs in a, uh, with onion, right, and tomato, uh, and uh, chestnut mushrooms um, in a, that will be in the sauce, and a creamy chicken and tarragonine and oregano and chivy and anything else I can, and maybe some Dijon mustard as well. You might be lucky. You'll have to wait and see. It all depends, right? It all depends on where this goes. Right, I need to put the washing on, don't I? I keep forgetting about that. Right, um, it all depends on where this goes, right? It could go catastrophically wrong. And also, the water, because I'm going to serve this in with some spaghetti. So, the first thing I want to do, apart from trying to, right, oh, let me 
special spoon. That is a spoon of wisdom, a spoon of knowledge and integration. Right, I'm going to put this, what we're going to be using over here for a second, because I'm going to be, I might be doing, now, you might be lucky enough, I might be doing tomorrow a chicken thigh Sunday dinner. I might do it, we don't know. I'm going to do it anyway for myself, whether I'm going to video it or not, no one knows. Um, so what I need to do is, instead of like, I want to keep all that on, I just want to keep the skirt on, I want as much fat. We're just going to give them a quick stab, right, with a fork, right. We're not going to be razor blazing any uh, chicken thighs. Um, I hope you liked my uh, Southern Fried Chicken Thigh video. I thought that came out amazingly. I actually thought the second batch came out better, but uh, that's because they had more time to marinate and all that business, right? So that's that's why I think, I mean, I might be talking utter nonsense. Who knows? So here we go. So what we're gonna do now, right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Only a little bit. A little bit there. Now, with chicken, um, I always, no matter what really you're sort of doing it with, right, um, what you're looking for is a nice seasonal. Now, there's two different seasonings you can do. Um, you can do a fine coat powder string seasoning, which would be things like this, like my black light powder and white light powder blend and we'll do so like that okay and then we go, when we step it up and we go for a little bit more coarse of black pepper right so it's getting like a double layering right so it's getting extra Michelin and that's just the case I'm sorry to say now we're going to chuck them in the box out okay I know I'm being a little bit abusive with the chicken thighs chicken's got feelings too don't worry about it right now I've got my garlic and thyme oil mixture Right, a very important supplement to any Michelin star chef kitchen, which is what you can see here with all the spices and all the gear and quite a lot of idea, but we'll get into that at a later date. Now, I want to get a nice clump full of that garlic and thyme oil. This oil is kept in the fridge as well. Right, so we don't do any mucking about on this channel. When you whiz up and make these garlic and thyme oils or garlic and rosemary or whatever it is, right, keep them in the fridge. They will last a lot longer and they'll keep it more fresher. All right, so I'm just gonna box it up. All right, and I'm not even gonna use my hands, I'm just gonna give it a toss. I'm tossing. I'm actually. I am actually. I'm actually tossing. Look, that is. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, I'm getting excited. All my soft bits are going hard. Oh yeah, ginger. I forgot to get fucking ginger biscuits again. Ginger. We're doing the gingers, right? Okay. So, right now that is all mixed up. I will show you. There we go. Look at that. See, all mixed up. Like a good one. That is amazing. The smell coming off that is proper shit. Now, uh, you can put some lemon juice, a squirt of lemon and lime juice in there if you want. Uh, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to keep it as is. And that's going to be for tomorrow. And maybe, if everyone's also ultra lucky, a video tomorrow. Not sure yet. I haven't made up my mind. All right. Still, still deliberate about it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, like I said, sorry about the Indian makeaway, I do apologise about that. Um, it is a massive mission. It's been quite a while since I've done one last, hasn't it? So, I mean, I am actually a little bit fearful of them, to be honest with you, because they are so, like, draining to do because of so many different things going on. And you want to make it, you don't want to make it... Like when I'm doing it, I'm actually like really trying hard to do like my best and it's like a bit of a mish. So, 
There we go. Right, that's going to be for the spaghetti. So I want to season that water. I'm only using sea salt. Yeah, so like, oh yeah, let's get some updates going on because of the gang, isn't it? Because we've got some groovy shit going on. Um, yeah, so we're on 105 subscribers now. Now, I was over the moon at 100, right? I thought, this is mental. I can't believe this is going on. Um, and all of a sudden, we've got 105 subscribers. So, uh, I'd like to thank everyone out there. Let's uh, do a little bit of a, a bit of a salute. So, right, thanks everyone out there for 105 subscribers. Uh, just, yeah, brilliant. Cheers, thank you. Cheers very much. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that's quite cool, really. So, right, now we're going to do the same with these chicken breasts. We're going to stab them, all right? So, I mean, I could, I mean, I could do the, I could do the cut into them, I don't know, but I'm just going to go for a, just a, I might stab. I'm stabbing my meat. I'm willingly stabbing my meat. Right, never stab your own meat. If you're if you're caught out in public, right, stabbing your meat, um, it will not end well, and it's actually not a very good idea because you'll probably wake up the next day and your meat's damaged. Uh, you can't use your meat anymore, even if you've got a chance to. You might be you might be lucky who knows or unlucky enough who knows who, who who's willing to dare or dream or even see so right i've got a bit of skirtage here i'm going to cut that off i'm going to cut off any excess ridiculous skirtage i don't mind a bit of skirtage oh that silly little bit there or that bit there we'll just cut that off away yeah so there we go so Anyway, yeah, so it's nice to be back. It's nice to be back with you all. Um, it's going to get a little bit, bit, bit later and darker later, obviously. Um, why am I even saying it's going to get darker later? It's not going to get darker early. Well, it could get, it could get darker earlier. Depends on your perception of time, doesn't it, really? Um, right, now, before we do anything, I want to make... Um, I'm going to dust these chicken breasts in a light flour, alright? Brilliant, I love it. But it's not just going to be flour, I want to incorporate some special stuff, alright? Right, so I'm going to get a, tea, a table for a cupful. I reckon that'll be, that should be fine. Let's get it all over the floor. Brilliant, well done. Right, that'll be fine, I reckon. Right, don't forget, no measurements. We don't we don't measure anything here. Right, even temperature, right? We do it by eye. And reasons. Well, you know, there's a number of reasons that can be attributed to that factor. And one of them reasons could be that A, the person is just like really lucky at guessing shit on temperature and things like that. Unlikely. But B, um, he's, uh, this is more likely, especially for me, he's so amazingly good that he's just like almost like a natural at it. Or B, or C, it could be a combination of B and C, that A is basically all of uh, B, uh, brilliant, uh, Michelin, and C knows his kitchen. Knows his, I need the wooden spoon, I can't do it with the metal spoon, can I? Knows his kitchen, inside out, doing it for you. Yeah, see? So, that's probably the case. So we've just got some flour in there, a little bit of sea salt, we're going to season it, of course. A bit of black pepper, and some of the, the chicken powder, alright? We want about a good teaspoon of that. Right, and that is just going to help to coat the chicken and give it a nice, nice little background, background edge of chickeny flavour. Each going in now. All right. Right now, I'm going to whack in a bit of the homemade garlic powder. 
yeah because if anyone who watched the last videos like all of the videos not just skipping through it going to the beginning going oh that looks all right and then it'll be in the middle oh what the fuck and then at the end watching the entire length through like all my hardcore gang members do not just the uh johnny come lately he's not saying anything like that not saying anything like that but the uh, the solid members watching the entire video. So, right, bit of garlic powder. I want about a teaspoon, a, tea, a teaspoon of that in there as well. Right, and that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to whiz it up. So I want to make sure it's all nicely blended. And I'm thinking, what else could I put in that to make it ultra double? Um, do you know what I might put in it? I might put in it a little bit of crushed chilli. A little bit of crushed chilli is just to give it a nice little pep, right? Nice little pep. Let's do that. Now that could create some issues, right? And I think it will. Now, what I'm going to do to counteract that. So I'm also going to put in a bit of smoke pack rico. About three quarters of a teaspoon of that. And that should help to counteract any unnecessary spur. And also, what I might do as an ultra double is a bit of fennel seed. I mean, I'm going a bit daring here. I really am. I'm, I'm pushing the boat. I know. I really am pushing the boat and we will see what that boat comes out like and you know what I'm also drawn to is yeah you guess it a bit of tarragon I'm going to just have a little look just an experimentation don't get all like like panicky on us it's, it's fine it's only, a, it's only a flower mix we're just you know we're just having a look we're just going to have a see and uh See what the situation says. It would help if we'd be like plugged in. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? All right. Okay. Let's do it. Oh shit! Let's put that back up there. Let's go. Let's give it a blip. Okey dokey. Okey dokey. Let's put that one away. Let's put that there. I'm going to place that there. I'm going to place that over there. Now. I want to let that flour sit for a little bit to get incorporated uh, into all the flavours that have gone into that flour. I want it to sit for a little about 10 15 minutes, all right? Uh, and the reason why I want to do that is because I want the actual flour to be seasoned itself, okay? At the moment, it's just got the flour's just got stuff in it. I want the flavours and the perfumes of the ingredients we've just put in to start penetrating the flour, and in order to do that. I need to let it sit for about 10 15 minutes. Hang on for a second. Yeah, so in order for that to work, I need to let it sit for a little bit. The pan's on a nice mild heat. We've got the chicken and the bacon around, and they're just relaxing at room temperature, which is exactly what you want, okay? Um, and then in part two, we will dust the chicken and we will start to be frying it in olive oil and butter and garlic. Um, and that's when the video will start to get a bit groovy. Right, I'll give, I'm going to call that a, a part one. Um, and I will see you in the next video. 
of this creamy chicken and spaghetti, chicken thigh, meal, in part two. I'll leave it with you.